Hi guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm Dr. Linda Kramer. Today I'm going to be doing a video about dreams. Okay, I've received an email from a lady who wishes to remain anonymous, so she could be anywhere on the planet. Okay, she's asked me a few questions. There's two questions that she's asked. The first one says, are dreams a meditative state for our souls to receive key information sometimes from our guides or our higher self what a good question that is so that's question one question two is it possible to receive visitations during dreams so let's take a look firstly at what i believe happens in our subconscious state when we are having a sleep firstly we've got to look at are daydreams possible yes they are people can go into a state of consciousness where we block out what we're seeing in this three-dimensional world and we have access to the subliminal subconscious realms of our consciousness so it's during these stages of sleep where we can also enter dream states now some people go into deeper states like REM sleep etc some people have lucid dreams some people have daydreams some people have normal weird dreams horror dreams dreams of falling so there is heaps and heaps of research being done out there as to why our brain dreams now is it just humans that dream no it's not i believe animals also enter into dream states i've seen my own cat where she'll be dreaming and she does this wee, 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 in her sleep we all have seen that with our dogs cats even birds have done it okay i've seen dolphins because dolphins sleep occasionally i think um, but there are marine animals when they sleep they also go into this conscious state of dreaming so we don't know for sure where we go we don't know for sure how we get there we don't know the possibility lo possibilities of locations do we always go into the same place like a conscious place when we dream i personally think that one's a no but where and what are dreams doesn't matter i like looking at how we dream what happens when we dream so let's look at this first question meditative state for our souls to receive key information now i thoroughly believe this one we do receive um guide assisted information through our sleeps I've got a video on my channel. It's called Download Nights. Download Nights. I'm sitting there with my gown on because it was in winter. I've got my hair a mess and you should see the look of me. I look like I haven't slept in a week because I had all this information part of me coming at me when I was asleep. So what the heck was that? Did I make the conscious decision to go to there or was it a random act that occurred or did someone else something else instigate that i was in that download night so there's three options did i do it myself did someone else do it or was it some random act where i had that download night where you get all this information given to you i firmly believe that download night download night dreams are not random they are not um, coincidences and they are not caused by other people we create what we want in our own consciousness subconsciousness i should say when we're unconscious when we're asleep when we are in our subconscious levels like theta t-h-e-t-a go research that one when we're in these states of consciousness where we meditate and go deeper and deeper into our consciousness that's when all this magic 
which is only undiscovered science formulas, right? All this magic can occur. So we only use about 10% of our brain capacity. So when we're asleep, we do have access to all this other information out there. So to, the, to answer the first question, meditative, meditative states for our souls to receive key information? Yes. Do we receive it from our guides, protectors, loved ones that have passed over, even passed over pets can visit us in dreams? Absolutely yes. Okay. And as for the next question, is it possible to receive visitations? Now, when we talk about visitations, are we just talking about our dead grandmother? I don't think that's the answer. Are we talking about my um, former pets who I may have owned at some point? I've dreamt about my cat that I had back in the 1980s. I've dreamt of her a few times. But look at it. Was she giving me messages? Possibly, yes. But then we look at true visitations. Are aliens interacting with us when we're asleep? Now, as I've just said, when we're awake, we only use 10% of our brains matter. When we're asleep, though, and we go into that subconscious, unconscious state, we have the capacity to access all areas of consciousness. Alien technology, they are on such a higher frequency, higher conscious state to us, they don't need to go to sleep. They can just access that do 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 every day, nanu nanu, as they want, right? Because they don't need to act, go to sleep to access their full brain capacity. We do because we're not that evolved yet. So when we're asleep, can they communicate with us? Absolutely. Nanu nanu. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely nanu lutely. <laughs> absolutely nanu lutely. <laughs> Just invented a new word. Absolutely nanu nanu lutely. Okay. So we've got to stay aware of what's going on in our dreams. We've got to remember them when we wake up. And most of all, we've got to write it down, start a journal. This is what happened tonight. This is what I dreamt. Write down things like the time. Because some people, you know, we might wake up at 1 o'clock in the morning and we have all these really crazy dreams between the 1 a.m. and 6 a.m. part. So you know in the future then that you've got this um, habit forming where you have your best dreams, 1 to 6 a.m. type things. Write down things like, were you hungry? Were you upset when you went to bed? What was the weather like? What mood were you in? Because people find that these habits are constant, regular occurrences when they have weird dreams. Okay? Some people have weird dreams if they're sad. Some people have weird dreams if they're overtired before they go to sleep. Other people have their weirdest dreams when they've been exercising. So we've got to only, we only work it out if we write it down so we can look for all those common um, things happening, okay? Now, the other thing with dreams, I just had it and I've just let it go, okay? Oh yeah, the other dream thing is how can we dictate our dreams? We can dictate our dreams. I go to bed at night and the first thing I say is tonight I, I do not give myself consent to have a nightmare. Do you think it works? Nanu absolute, absolute nanu nanu lutely. I have dreams where I say before I go to bed, I say tonight I want to dream about my grandmother. Now she died early 2000s. Tonight I want to dream about my grandmother. Tonight I want to make contact with this person. Tonight I want to know what's going to happen tomorrow for this outcome to, so I can prepare for that. You think it's not real? Because I'm about to go into that stage of our consciousness where we ex where we go into that 100% of what our brain capacity is. So anything is possible. So talk to yourself before you go to bed. Talk to your higher self before you go to bed. Give yourself those rules of what's going to happen that night. And it may not happen the first night. It may not happen the third or the eighth time. But at some point you'll say, wow, I just got what I asked for. And then you write it down. 
this happened on this night. And you write down everything. What mood were you in? Were you hungry? Were you full? What, did you eat chocolate before bed? Did you have caffeine before bed? Those type of things. Okay. Chocolate is known. I don't know if it's true or not, but it's known to give people nightmares. So see if that's a regular thing that happens when you're dreaming, if you eat chocolate before bed. So we've got to look for those commonalities. There's things that happen frequently. Write it all down. Work it out. And start trying to control what you dream. Tonight I want to have a dream about three days time. I'm going to this place on the weekend. I want to see what it's going to be like. What's the weather going to be like? What do I have to pack? Clothes wise, do I need long sleeves, short sleeves, t-shirts? What food do I have to take? I want to find out now. So we can control under our own free will what premonition dreams we have. Don't think I'm telling you the truth here. I do this. And if I can do it as just a normal, average human, so can you. So to answer this anonymous person who contacted me about dreams, is it possible to receive visitations? It can be anyone, anything in any galaxy or universe out there. Do, 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 do. It could be a grand dead grandmother. It could be a future boyfriend or girlfriend contacting you. And giving you that hint of, hey, I'm going to this party in two weeks. I hope you're there. I have dreams where I'm talking to people. And then three days later, I meet them. And that's a blow. That blows my mind. So, of course, we can meet people before we know them in our dreams. Okay? Yes. Um, I'll give you an example. A lady in the red dress. I think it's in my book, Psychics. Um sort of my examples that I've written about. I had this dream where I'm talking to this girl. She's wearing this really skinny, tight red dress. She's got her hair up and it's all got little flowers in the back. And she's wearing thongs, you know, like, um, I don't know what you guys call them overseas. <laughs> thongs, that's what we call them here in Australia. Okay. So we're talking and she's telling me about her brother and all this stuff. So I didn't know this girl. I woke up. Three days later, I had to go over the other side of the city. And over there, where I don't usually go, I had to get petrol. So I stopped at the service station and I went into, I've got the petrol. I went inside to pay for the petrol. And there was a queue of about six people. In front of me was this girl. And the first thing I saw was the red dress, tight as. And she's got all her hair up in these beautiful flowers. And I looked down and she's wearing thongs on her feet. I thought, I know everything about this girl. I dropped her three nights ago. So as the queue goes up to the checkout, guy leaves, the queue comes up. She's in front of me. She's paying. She turns around to leave. And I said, oh, good day. I used her name. And she's looking at me like, uh huh? I said, oh, are you, um, how's your brother? And she said, oh, you know my brother. And I said, I used his name. And I said, yes, I know your brother. And she said, oh, it's his wedding today. I said, oh, and she said, oh, yeah, that's why I'm in this dress and I'm wearing, I've got these shoes to wear at the service later, but they're so tight, I can't wear them, so I've got to wear my thongs on the way over. So now we know why in the morning she's wearing the bright dress, red dress, tight, because she's a bridesmaid. She's in the wedding party and she's wearing the thongs because she's, her shoes make her sore feet. Wow. Interesting things, I dream. How do you go? Write them down. Make a list. It's your private list. Talk to yourself before you go to bed. Ask yourself and give yourself permission who and what will visit you. I don't ever want to see that person. Do not ever, don't come to me, type stuff. I give you no consent. Okay? So try it. Write it down. Let me know if it works for you. I'm sure it will because we can all access this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.